everybody. <laughs> I have been working on my hands more this week. Um, so basically, you know, like I talked about last time, I'm just doing a little bit at a time. So they kind of took a little while because I would just do like one finger at a time and then wait for it to fully cure before I came back and did the next finger. And that way I wasn't like bumping up against stuff that I'd already did right next to it. Um, but I do have all 10 fingers done now. Uh, you can see I've left some space in the palms unfinished and of course still left that metal exposed so that I can weld them on uh, to the sculpture. Um, but it took a little while to do these hands, you know, and in between each one, like I would do one finger, let it cure, and then for the rest of the day I've been working on painting this week. Um, and now it's Friday, and so even though these are ready to mount, I don't know, I don't really like to undertake like a really huge project on a Friday and I think mounting these is going to be something that takes a lot of my time and mental energy and so I think it's going to be much better to start that on Monday. So I'm going to keep working on paintings um, and one reason that I'm doing that is that there is an exhibit coming up that I want to enter and um, I want to have some new artwork for it so I'm excited about that. I'm going to be finishing up the floral painting that I started way back during quarantine and hadn't really touched since then because I've been busy with sculptures. Um, and then I also finished up a painting of Mount Garfield, uh, which if you're not local is a, uh, a beautiful mountain in the Grand Valley and it's very iconic and I've always wanted to paint it really big, so I did. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit about painting this week. Um, the way I paint is pretty different from the way a lot of people paint, you know. Um, I'm always pretty much painting on a textured surface and when you paint on a textured surface you really have to like kind of wiggle the brush and kind of jam it into those little nooks and crannies because otherwise it won't get paint everywhere. So you don't want to use like your nicest brush for example. Um, but we'll get into some of that later and I'll kind of show you what I've been doing. But yeah, that's what I'm working on this week is painting and I did finish my hands but I'm not really doing anything with them yet. Uh, so we'll play with those next week. To start painting my floral painting that I made back during quarantine um, and I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how I'm doing it so basically right now I'm just trying to get coverage so this is not how they're gonna teach you how to paint in art school or whatever this is like pretty different with a sculptural painting like this you have a lot of texture a lot of things sticking out of the piece and so really it's really important to make sure that you get color everywhere because there will be like little nooks and crannies like inside here in the in the rows you know de everywhere that like don't get paint so you have to kind of use like a crappy brush you don't want like your nicest brush you want one that's kind of already a little bit beat up already so that you can like wiggle it and get into those nooks and crannies in there um and yeah, I'm not even really too worried about, like, staying inside the lines. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell. I've got, like, different sections here, you know, and I'm kind of going to roughly stay within those sections with my colors that I'm choosing, but I've gotten out of the sections quite a bit, and I'm not really worried about that right now, you know, because I'm really just trying to get color everywhere. We'll come back and clean it up and make it nice later. Um... And I'm not even really using super fancy paint either, you know, this is really just about getting that coverage and then once you've kind of done the base colors and the underpainting, then you can use some nicer paints on the top, um, you know, to kind of highlight those textures. So I'll be using some metallic 
some nicer metallic paints up top. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening right now. And basically with each section, I'm just using like two different colors and then I'll bring one of those colors out to the next section. So with, the, with this area, I had like a pink and an orange, mix those together. And then I brought the orange out to this one where it's got kind of like a, a red violet and an orange together. And then I'll probably bring the red violet out and put it with like a lavender to kind of cool it down a little bit. Um, yeah. And then back here, I'm not sure yet. We'll kind of see how it starts to look after that part. Maybe a blue. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so each, each level I'm kind of just bringing one of the colors from the past level out to like keep that unity with the piece and kind of a cohesive composition. Back to the time lapse. Alright, so here's my piece and I, I've got a nice base layer going on it um, and so what I need to do now is just fill in all the little holes. I've tried to do my best with that on, um, you know, just using the large brush and kind of wiggling it in there but you can see there's still some little spots, uh, you know, down in there and, you know, inside this flower, different places where it just still is going to need some paint. So I'm going to take a little brush now and fill all those little places in. Alright, so now I've filled in most of those little white spots where the paint didn't get into. Um, there are, you know, probably still just a few left here and there, and I'm sure I'll find them as I'm painting, so I'll just kind of fix them as I go along. Uh, but I've done most of them now. We've got a good solid base layer. and. Um, now I'm going to start dry brushing metallics over the top of the texture and that's one of my favorite ways to paint. Um, it's one of the number one reasons why I love painting on a textured surface because you know it almost the painting almost just paints itself because you know as you dry brush over the these thick textures you know the like really highlighting it with that metallic it really just brings those textures out. Um, so yeah, it's my favorite, and I'm ready to get started, you know. So I've got a little bit of copper here, and I'm just going to kind of show you guys, uh, like, what it does. <laughs> just going to dry brush a little bit right here to start. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's just giving it that little bit of shine there. I just love that. Sometimes I'll kind of use my finger to blend it like that. Maybe get my finger a little wet. Painting on a board like this is pretty different from painting on canvas. Um, and I really like it actually because I'm very tactile. I like to kind of push on on it and use my fingers a lot and I don't know I feel like canvas kind of it just doesn't quite hold up to all of that so well and I love doing the found objects too you know that's just so awesome. Yeah I love what that's doing. We have all these bright colors in the background, uh, so I'm going to be using a lot of neutral metallics. So like copper, gold, bronze, those are kind of more neutral as opposed to like, you know, a metallic blue or something like that, which I might put a little bit of that in there too, but I think I'm mostly going to keep it a neutral palette with the metallics um, to kind of offset, you know, these really bright colors in the background.
so here it is. Um, it's almost done, you know, pretty close. I kind of need to go back through and just make sure that, you know, all those little spots are filled in and, you know, maybe add a couple more little details, but it's pretty much finished now and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I just love painting with metallics over a textured surface. It's just one of my favorite things. And yeah, so it's a floral composition. I think it's very, um, kind of like Baroque yet psychedelic, Baroque psychedelic, you know, whatever that means, but I don't know, that's kind of what it reminds me of. And yeah, I love the colors. I love the way the light plays on those metallics. Um, and it's been a lot of fun to paint. Yeah, so I'm excited to put the finishing touches on it and enter it into the exhibit. And yeah, um, I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.